Hey, I'm Christopher Zorowski. And I'm Colin Mallet. And you're, you're watching, watching Wolf TV. TV. Exams are less than two weeks away, guys, so make sure you're studying very hard and make sure that all your missing work is turned in. Teacher made exams will be held on May 31st and June 1st, and all other exams will start on Friday the 2nd. The schedule for this spring is course based rather than block based. Make sure you see the view from the ridge for more information. Now let's go to sports. I paid my dues. What makes, what a, makes a winner? Healthy? What makes a winner? It's someone who wins. It's someone who works hard to achieve their goals is a winner. Perseverance, that's my one word. Hello? Uh, coming in first place. Like holding trophy. I think being a winner it comes in a variety of ways. I think being a winner is something that comes from hard work, and I think being a winner is really someone who profits from that hard work, mostly from the fact that you put, you have the determination to move forward. I think that um, when someone wins something, they don't just stop when they win; they, they continue to find ways to get better. To be a winner. Uh... Being a winner means, to me, means doing everything right. Um, I don't think it necessarily means winning on the field. I think it means winning at the game of life. Just like I tell the football players, you know, you want to get better every day. You know, it's either you get better or you get worse. Winners get better every day. Mihi nomen Julius. Et vodeo mi we am wita capta estietum. We are volumines ad stricta, quidem fastus, relectus de fastus, qualis monstrum capit fastum, cluacae aqua gii nostri lingua captus sunt. Nam estra lingua. Thanks, sports. With the end of the year coming so soon, the Career Center has put together a list of opportunities for summer jobs and service projects, so be sure to check the View from the Ridge for additional info. Also, registration is open for students looking to take driver's ed over the summer. As always, check the View from the Ridge for more information. Dear seniors, Orange County Schools is hosting Project Graduation, the night of graduation, at Buffalo Lanes in Mebane. Come out for a night of free food, free bowling, and free arcade games. It's sure to be a ton of fun. Now for this week's Project Graduation clues. Hey guys, it's Wolf TV correspondent Hortensia Garcia, and I'm here to talk to you guys about the Project Graduation Scavenger Hunt. Here are this week's clues. So the scavenger hunt is for seniors only, but if an underclassman finds a clue, they can give it to a senior or they can leave it where it's at. Um, clues will be given on Wolf TV once a week, so stay tuned. And they can only be claimed during lunch or in between classes. Now, when you have a clue, you have to bring it to Project Graduation on June 9th from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. So there will only be 10 clues given out. And if you have any questions, please contact Ms. Campbell in room A210. Thanks for those 2017 Project Graduation clues. Now let's go to a segment we like to call Bennett, Bennett talking, talking to, to the Cedar Ridge, Ridge Choir. Choir. Evan Woody and this is my second year doing the Pops concert. What I like most about Pops is that we do songs that aren't really choral. We reach into popular music, things that everybody would know. Um, songs that are fun to dance to and tunes that people recognize. What I look most forward to is getting on stage and singing songs that are, you know, show tuny so we get to be up there and do really big dance moves and um, just get really dramatic on stage. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Thanks, Benny Boy. Come out next Thursday and Friday night for the Cedar Ridge Choir's Pops concert. It's going to be awesome. It's only going to cost $5, and we hope to see you there. In other art-related news, come out next Monday for a night of performances provided by our award-winning bands. Tickets are also $5 at the door. We hope to see you there. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching Wolf TV. And, and as, as always, not to quiz teacher appreciation week, but yeah, I think you should be appreciative of your teachers every week because you know they they're pretty cool people, most of them, I guess. And so every we're going out and walk, teaching you know, people how to appreciate teachers. Let's check it out. This week uh, is we're remembering teacher appreciation week because you should be appreciative of your teachers every week and day. And so um, uh, this is Mr. Yao and. I'm really appreciative of him for his sense of humor. Oh,
So, Mr. Kelly, I'm, I'm appreciative of you because of your s snarky sarcasm and how you make cer certain kids feel bad during class, but mostly make other kids feel good. Thanks. So, Mr. Barbudo, I only had you for a day as a teacher, but I'm pretty appreciative of you as a teacher, and I appreciate how you watch the credits every week because it, it really gives credit to all those involved in Wolf TV. Hey, Ms. Smith, uh, we miss Teacher Appreciation Week, but I'm still appreciative of you because we should be appreciative every week. Uh, I'm here with Miss Barnhart and Mrs. Lamana, who also happens to be the wife of one of my favorite teachers. I'm appreciative of Mr. Fobert because he taught us cool science stuff and took us outside, and he's also a rad storyteller and probably a rad dad with rad boots. And I appreciate you the most for pushing me to be a better student and a better runner and a better person in general. I appreciate you, best boy. You're the best. And I appreciate Miss Barnhart because she always had a great sense of humor and she taught me a lot about English and she has hearing like a bat, which sometimes wasn't appreciated. Um, hey, hey, Miss Danku, I'm really appreciative of you as, as a teacher because you taught us all about our brains and like monkeys' brains and stuff. And I appreciate Miss Lamana for um, being married to Mr. Lamana because if if marriage is with Mr. Lamana is like anything I imagine, it's it's very loud. So and great. And he's gonna be that. Really? He is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've appreciated all the teachers that have have taught me here at Cedar Ridge and even the ones that haven't because most teachers are cool and now it's time for me to leave go on my own adventure find my own teachers maybe become my own teacher who knows <laughs> Bazinga! Bazinga! Boo, 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 boo.